On this episode of Four Wheeling Jeeps, I'm going to show you guys how to mount some bead locks. Got these uh, babies fresh from powder, and I'm uh, going to show you how to mount them up to my 35-inch uh, Pro Cops. So, first thing I want to show you guys is uh, on the beadlocks themselves, they're going to have this lip here. So, when we go to mount the tire itself, we're going to make sure that the inner bead kind of matches up so then the ring can press the bead together. And I'll show you a close up once we get the tire mounted. Uh, but, first thing we're going to do here is uh, kind of lay the rim completely flat, and uh, you'll take your tire and kind of lean it up against here at an angle. Uh, some people might actually want to, depending on the, the flexibility of the tire, put some soap and water on the actual tire itself to kind of help it slide over the rim itself. Uh, these ones I don't seem to have an issue without it, so I usually just put this on here like that. Before I mount the tire, I use BBs to balance them. Uh, I use about roughly 8 ounces uh, for a 35 inch tire. I'll uh, post the link below so that way you guys know as far as how big your tire is, how many ounces you'll need. Um, I use these particular BBs. Um, they are about 0.12 grams uh, each. Um, I measured out, it's roughly about a solo cup for me. So I'm going to make sure to uh, pour these babies in there first uh, before I go ahead and uh, mount the tire on the rim itself. Okay, so now that I got the uh, tire uh, lined up kind of at an angle here. Um, what, you'll, what I'm going to do is now kind of jump with my knees on the tire itself and kind of have it mounted on there. This is a better close-up of how I uh, line up the tire on the rim itself uh, before mounting it. Might have to go with a couple jumps on there and then you'll see it lands on there and I'll give you a close-up here shortly of uh, how the uh, inner lip is going to line up with uh, your, uh, your bead lock. Next step, you're going to want to get a uh, five gallon bucket and uh, get your wheel and your tire and lift it up on here. This will make it easier uh, to get your ring to sit on here properly flush so that way when you put the bolts on there it'll really suck the rim up, uh, make it a lot easier to mount. Now that the uh, tire and the wheel, I got it on a five gallon bucket, got it mounted, wanted to just show you how the inner lip of the tire itself is on the inside of uh, the beadlock and it has uh, the part with the bolts kind of uh, flush against it. So if I move this around a little bit, uh, let's see if we can get the tire to come out. Mm -hmm. Having difficulty with that. There we go. You'll see how it lines up properly around the edge. So, next step, you're going to get your ring, going to uh, sit it on here, line it up with uh, all the holes around here, and we're going to start uh, one bolt at a time, and really the key to making sure uh, it goes evenly is the star pattern. So you're going to lightly just uh, tighten them around, goes the star pattern until they're all in, uh, then you're going to get um, a torque wrench eventually, and you're going to have to torque them all down in the star pattern as well. Okay, so to start, I like just uh, with my finger kind of going around and, and get all the bolts in there. For this step, you really don't need to go in a star pattern when you're just lightly getting them in. I like to kind of get one on uh, each corner here just to kind of make sure it's lined up everywhere. And uh, from there, once you get all the bolts at least uh, threaded on, uh, then we can start using our wrench and uh, start doing the star pattern to really get it.
Okay, now that we uh, got them semi-tight with the regular wrench, I'm uh, going to take my torque wrench here. Uh, each bead lock is going to be different, so you want to check the specs as far as uh, how, uh, as far as foot-pounds, how, how much you need to torque them down. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with my torque wrench, uh, do a little bit of a star pattern, and then I usually like to finish off with a circle just to make sure uh, I hit all of them. Okay, so now it's time to uh, air up the tire, and uh, what you'll notice is on the back side, it is, uh, the lip is still not matching up. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to turn the compressor on, it's going to start filling air in the tire, and eventually you'll hear a pop, and that means the back bead is seated. <laughs> Okay, so unfortunately this particular one didn't make a pop noise as far as when uh, it's uh, being filled up with air. Uh, they don't always do that, majority of the time they do, but what you'll notice, um, definitely uh, take a look, is the, the rear bead is now flush, whereas you saw before it had a gap. Uh, you always want to make sure it's holding air. Um, also, periodically make sure to double check um, all these bolts typically after about a hundred miles of drive and you want to kind of retorque all those and uh, with that you are uh, good to go